Hey clanners, welcome back to State of Decay. Uh, okay, well, this is uh, interesting. I guess, well, thank you Cortana for completely and utterly balking my uh, intro there. Um, I appreciate that. Well, I guess I'm going to leave that in. Because that's uh, one of the more random things that's happened. Can I get to alt and enter, please? Thank you. So, <clears throat> welcome back, clanners, to State of Decay. And if Cortana could kindly keep her fucking beak out, that would be wonderful. We do? Alright, well, we shall go handle the horde. Uh, is that the horde that you're worried about? Really? That's the horde that you're worried about? Well, I won't worry about it too much. Anyway, in the last episode, we went to the fair. And we found a zombie horde. Uh, no, we didn't. We found the army. And we helped them uh, find out what was going on with their camp. We also found this rather spiffy military vehicle. And there is another one that uh, I want to go grab as well. Um, not really sure if I even want to bother with this zombie, zombie horde. Why has that got a red flag? What does that mean? Apparently it doesn't mean it. Is that where they're going? And that's... Alright, well, sure, we shall do this, I suppose. Uh, also, I suppose we should look up at what happened whilst we've been away. Medicine, hordes, survival tactics, fuel, hot coffee. Gain two ammo, train outsiders, survived another day. Uh, home foraging, scavenge, keeping it clean. Well... We have way more food now. Medicine. You know, we're, we're just in good shape. In all round, to be honest. Let's go squish the horde. Now, who are we playing as again? John. John Temple. Well, that's a manly name, if I've ever heard one. Uh, Horde-headed. Fuck my ass, guys. Look at this. This is getting out of hand. All right, Mr. Temple. Let's go squish. Uh, let's do this. Where's that fucking zombie horde. Right you bastards, be prepared to become mulch. And also, you know what I am going to do? I am going to get the other military vehicle before we do much else. Where's the other one? Whoa! Talk about besieged! Ay caramba! Well John, it's a shame this is not uh, getting you any experience really. However, it is a good test of the durability of this vehicle. John led the way. Oh, damn. We get some serious frame drops. This is uh, not good. Whoa. Fuck. I did not see that bastard there. Oh, shit. Well, we've popped a tire. That is okay. Can you get the fuck off, please? Now, I'm hoping we can repair the tire. That comes under body repair. I don't know if it does. Right, so we've got to intercept them. And a stranger in trouble, which is cool. So we get more survivors. Shit, though. That was not good. We've seriously lost their traction from that. Which, you know, makes sense. Losing 50% of our um, tyres. That is pretty bad. That's okay. Just another day. Just another day in the life of John Temple. Right, let's go get this bad boy patched up. That's given us quite a bit of influence, actually. So it's been worth it. Now, come on. Ah, oh, it's a feral. A feral that isn't really flagged up on the map. In fact, he was not flagged up on the map at all. That's kind of bizarre. Maybe it's another one of these features we've heard so much about. Alright, let's get this poor wounded bass back. We'll switch up to another car. 
We need a disposable. Something we don't mind losing. Probably that blue Ford Escort looking thing. Alright, come with you. Battle wagon, you have served your purpose. For now. I also do like the exhaust pipe. Sticking out the engine there. Very cool. Um, right, don't want to lose that. If we can help it. I suppose we could go save the survivors first. Get that done. Makes a whole lot of sense. Don't want to lose that van. Because that van's useful as hell. But we will take this. Because we don't really care about this. Even though it's not a bad car. It's just we can do better. With the military vehicle. Makes us look a little bit more important, you know, the clan having a military vehicle instead of rolling up in uh, just a civilian car. Makes us feel like we've accomplished something, god damn it. Oh, a lot of people seem flocked to this place. I get it. Uh, I did look up all the homes, all the safe houses that you can get in this game. And by all accounts, there's quite a lot of them, way more than I thought there was. Can you die, please? There we go. Um, but I wasn't sure whether the fairground was actually a safe haven. And it... Uh oh, did that just... Did that just break? No. Uh, and it is. It is a legitimate safe home that we can use. But there's a lot of mixed feelings on it. Apparently the one we have is possibly the best one. So we shall stay with it. Yeah, all right, buddy. Oh, Kimberly. So I guess every time you find survivors, you always get a man and a woman. I was curious about that, but I guess so. All right, that's cool. Right, you okay, guys? You you want to come home? I guess people always pair up. Makes sense, I suppose. There we go. Yes. Uh-huh. Come on, guys. Let's go. We got plenty. We're literally living in the house of plenty. And you are absolutely welcome to it. Uh. Okay. No, that's fine. What the hell are you? You're apparently a special snowflake. Although I'm not quite sure why. You were bigger on the map. Right, cool. Let's go. It doesn't matter too much about the condition of this vehicle because we're going to be tossing it anyway. Can you get off, please? Please? Thank you. Swish. There we go. I have ended your misery. You're welcome. You're absolutely welcome. Uh, right, go on, guys. In you go. Actually, they don't. That does look like two blokes. That's I think. Alright, new faces. Let's have a little look at our dudes. Who have we got? Yeah, they are two blokes. Who's Kimberly then? Her. Where's she? And I didn't check their skills. Also, I have got some tips from H, um, which have been very useful. So he's a plumber, which is pretty useful um, and another useless person oh he ah, idiot he is a tools expert ah that's where it says it farming expert oh medical advisor well okay cool so we've got 16 survivors now um, I wonder why is that flashing away? There we go. Uh, I wonder if we can support more people. Because the more people, the better, right? Let's go get our car. Our military one. Because I'm fairly sure that we're not actually going to move to the fairground. As I said, lone soldier... Okay, our trust with the army is really, really low. That's not fantastic. This better not be the chap that was coughing his lungs up. 
because uh, my zombie sense was tingling. It was very tingly. Incredibly tingly. In fact, it couldn't have been tingling more. So, hopefully... Whoa, that guy fucking flew, didn't he? Turn him into a spaceman. Come on, pal. Ah, oh, we need more kinetic energy. More kinetic energy is needed. There we go. Never mind. Right, let's get out of here. Now, I wonder what this gentleman wants. I, um, I mean, I guess we shall see what he wants whilst we're here. I guess. I don't want to pick up the military vehicle yet, though, just in case uh, it gets balked somehow. Because it will. You know it. I know it. John here knows it. Right, here's the lone soldier. Ooh, he's in the church. You won't find nothing in there, my friend. Misery and broken dreams. Ooh. All right, buddy. Easy, soldier. What happened to you? I'm sick. Left me behind. Left all the sick ones behind. <laughs> Guess that's why they tell me say, don't drink the water. <laughs> I guess so. We got a um, for this in the army. That term is foobar. Mm-hmm. You better keep going. That you fucked up beyond all recognition or something. Uh, leave the house. All right, buddy. Uh, I'll leave. Ooh, ah, it's a small backpack. Uh, yeah, good point. Actually, we are stocked up and stuff. You all right with that, soldier? You all right there, buddy? You good? You 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 handling that? I'll be with you in a second. All right. There's a small backpack, but we don't really need it. I, I mean, I no, we've got so many small backpacks at home. Ooh. Been thinking about what our dying friends said about the water. Right before they locked me out, the science geeks were talking about something they found up at the reservoir. Uh oh. Now I'm thinking we ought to go check it out. Happy to help. Uh, yes. Okay. Well, we're not really equipped to check pathogens and bacteria and water. At least, not really. Go on, get him, buddy. Oh, you're sick now too. Uh, yeah. Just uh, don't try and uh, bite my neck whilst we're driving around. I know you soldiers and sailors. I know what you like. You get a little bit touchy-feely. Slip a little something into my pocket, sailor. I don't think so. Now. Uh, up to the reservoir, he says. Is that where this whole contamination shit started? Maybe. Yep. Sorry, your reward for that looks like death by super cholera. Super cholera, eh? Hey? Well, haha, <laughs> that sounds like a shitty time. Ooh, what's going on here? Ooh, hello. You know, when we first set up camp here, the captain designated this as our R and R spot. <laughs> Short nice. on our bunks jerking off, all we were allowed to do with our free time was come up here, swim a few laps, and try to pretend MREs were suitable barbecue. Uh-huh. <laughs> Retrospect though. Not sure which I regret more. Hmm. I recognize some of this. It's the same shit the Ooh. Geek Squad was carting around when they Ooh. were trying to find out what caused it. What's it do? Fuck if I know. It's a professional bullet stopper. They don't waste their uh, words on me. A <laughs> professional Let's bullet stopper. I like that. Mm hmm All right. Well, you have it at it, buddy. I'm gonna take all these cans of ammo. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. Well, in a minute. Well, at least old John's getting some levels. Much needed levels. Uh, you're right there, buddy. You you good? Actually, let's move this a little bit closer. I don't fancy being that healthy today. That's not good, mate. You really probably shouldn't have been drinking in the water. Oh, hello. 
Now it's been a while since I read my field survival manual, but I'm pretty sure dead guys rotting in your water supply is what's known as a bad thing. Quite. We're gonna have to leave the valley, aren't we? I mean, we can't keep drinking this. There's only one way out if you don't have air support. It's the pass back by the fairgrounds. It links up with the main highway after about ten miles. Okay. The trouble is, the army blocked it off when they left. Probably trying to stop whatever this is from spreading. Well, then how do we get out? Yeah, I'm not sure yet. I got a couple of leads I can check out. Meantime, your people ought to start stockpiling supplies. Oh, we've got a lot of supplies. Be like on the outside. I doubt it's good. All right. Well, the water is uh, fucked. Actually, we're literally drinking the dead. Well, okay. I guess there's worse things we could be drinking. I can't think of what those things might be, but uh, I'm sure there is. All right, let's eat that. All right, let's get you knackered. Come on. Wait for that stamina to drain. Oh, nice. Maya is sad. Oh, no. We can't have Maya sad. We'll go sort her out in a minute. Take her on a little zombie uh, murdering spree. That generally cheers her up. There we go. Now, hopefully... Yeah. Well, we'll destroy that then. We'll take the SMG. Uh, I guess so that's codeine. I don't know if that is better. What can we live without here? I do like having lots of pills. Uh, won't help serious wounds. I think... See, that's just typical... Oh, that's serious stuff. Um, it's a shame you have to destroy this. Doesn't really make a lot of sense, but okay. Um, let's put the SMG away and some of that away. Cool. Let's go. Alright, buddy boy. So, are you like with us now, or, or what? What's the dealio here? Why would they be dumping the dead in the water? I mean, that just seems silly. Well, they do. I mean, that seems like it was done on purpose. Yeah, well, we shall do that. And an ally needs help, of course. Alright, well, we're going to go get our vehicle, wherever that was. SUV with bubbles. Nope, that's too fancy for me. Military pickup. There we go. All right, Mr. Winters. Uh, well, unfortunately, we can't be everywhere. That's just the way it is. That's just the reality. You've got to pick and choose your battles, Lily. All right. I mean, you know, you could have gone out and helped him. It doesn't always have to be me. I guess it always does have to be me. I'm just one person, God damn it. So, uh, Mr. Winters, you feeling alright, buddy? You're not, uh, you're not dying just yet, are you? I do like the idea of trying this base out, but I'm really not con. Oh. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. Are you not with me anymore? I think because technically we've completed our mission, he's buggered off. Well, that's okay. Let's grab the rest of this. And jobs are good. And we now have two really good vehicles. Or at least, I hope these are really good vehicles. It makes sense that they would be. See you later, dirtbags. Much later. Right. Well, I'm starting to get the feeling we're moving towards the endgame. Um, which is interesting. I thought there was more to this. Ally in trouble. Let's do it. Let's go scoop this person up on the way back. I'm definitely curious, unless actually they just didn't take the helicopter with us. They scuttled it, maybe. That could make sense. Seems uh, a tad wasteful, but uh, you don't want an AH-64 falling into... Um, Okay, we've got lots of uh, survivors that need help. 
Yeah, I guess you don't want that kind of hardware getting into civilian hands. However, these are exceptional circumstances. Yeah, I wouldn't mind an Apache in my uh, my back garden. In fact, that's something that I've dreamed for for many years since I played the original Desert Strike. So yeah, yeah, why not? I guess it depends how good our, our tools expert is. Maybe he can get that thing ship shape in Bristol fashion. He's probably not that skilled though. Probably. We are operating under video game logic here after all. Alright, who needs help? Are you in that fucking shed again? What is with you guys? And getting into trouble in the shed? What is the whole big deal with this bloody shed, guys? Are you doing something in here that I probably should know about, but don't want to know about? That seems fairly logical at this point. Right. Try not to die on your way home, please. Oh, you got armor. There we go. Um... Good enough. What about Becky and that lot? Are they still okay? Yeah, you head home. What about you guys? Can I come here and take your stuff? I yes, I can. Excellent. Nine millimeters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Right, put the nine mils back. We take the twenty twos. All right, let me get my let me get my truck. Cuz after all, it's better in our inventory than it is in yours. Uh Right, let's do that. So guys, uh still don't fancy joining us? It's safer. Remember Bob? You definitely want some 45s. Oh god. See what I mean? You don't get this at my house. You don't get anything like this at my house. We have parties and alcohol. And we talk about the finer points of life. Good times, really. Whereas you, I mean, you just get dickheads turning up, leaving your door open. I don't know, buddy. I don't know. Still... Look at this. I can live like this. You've got a perfectly good tower there that you don't even use. Which is kind of stupid, really. Kind of makes me think I've wasted my time in helping you. You know? And that makes me feel sad. Wasted potential. Uh, bullets. Do you have anything else worth taking? No. No, hey guys. Can you... Um, yeah. I would prefer you guys... Oh, there's lots of you here. Uh, the good word is you guys are going to be fucked if you keep staying here. I'm just saying, I'm not trying to bring you down. But you have your shed of spawning there, which is... Doing a wonderful job at resupplying you with constant zombies. You have your unused... Oh, God. You know what, guys? Bon voyage. Good luck. You're going to need it. This place crawls. Well, we can't worry about everybody. Am I right, John? Am I right? Of course I'm right. Oh, shit. That was almost uh, the end for this vehicle. Um, yep, do you want to do something about him? Do you want to do something about him? Potentially today? Fantastic. Alright, now let's let's start loading this stuff up. I mean, the ammo is nice, but we do have a lot of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're all tired, mate. We're all tired. We all want to go home. Well, I guess we are home. So, yeah. Bullets. 
lots of these 22s. What we need is like a 22 caliber rifle that's um, drum fed. That would be pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to break one of those cases of ammo down. Because ammo. Cool. Okay, John. You're doing good, buddy. You really are. Not a bad little killer. What was that, actually? What caliber? That was another 45. Alright. Now, as for the ammunition, let's break down a single case. Uh, we shall take you and drop you off. I think this should give us... Only five. Only five ammo. Oh, you know. That's curious. Uh, no, break it down. Can we not? Oh, well, I guess we can't break that down. That's interesting. Oh, well. Maybe you need a skill to break down stacks. Ah, we're actually at capacity now. Sick. Okay. Hey, Bub, I thought you wanted to go home. Do I really have to take you, like, back over here? What's the best way to get in? Probably this way. You got it from here? Thanks. We got it from here. All right, buddy. Okay, so Mia is sad. What else have we got on the to-do list? We've got Z Hunt there, which we I guess we could do. We still have the delivery to make, which we'll probably do... Now, let's do the Z. Let's switch up to another character as well. Um, who should we be? I don't really want to risk my tools expert. Fitness Guru, though. Uh, team Mum, born leader. She's not that good, though. Psychopath. We could take the psychopath out, I suppose. Probably do her good. Now we need to get her suited and booted. Probably only got one of those really shit little backpacks. Yeah, and lots of food. You don't need all that, my dear. Now, what's that? That's a 357, so that's not too shabby. And that's not bad either, to be fair. We do have a large backpack, which is good. Um, we could probably do better, you know. We could give her that. I do want to try one of these. 45. We've got a lot of 45 ammo. <sighs> Trouble is, with an automatic, taking 60 rounds just isn't great. Now, let's give you a decent weapon. What have we got here? We want... You know, the wrench is good. It's heavy, reliable, and durable. I think the wrench is a really decent weapon. Right, let's go. Let's go hunt the feral. We have an automatic, which is good. Reload. 30 rounds in the magazine. One in the chamber, please. I suppose on that logic, we should go get some more. We shall go top up. We shall grab that single bullet. You know, our destiny could be totally different if uh, we don't take that single round. Think about it. Think about it. We might burn through 60 rounds and not have one left for ourselves. Huh? Huh? That's what I'm thinking. Oh. Oh, hey, guys. Right. Yeah, well, you know zombies love radio beacons, so. yes they do. We will grab that, but we'll probably take our dream team. We Whoa! Who the fuck is letting off them? The fuck was that? Who's got a grenade launcher? Seriously, guys. Who has the damn grenade launcher? 
Shotgun grenade launcher. You. Yeah, sorry, pal. I don't think so. I wouldn't mind, but you nearly killed me. You fucking dickhead. Look at all this food that they have. Um, you, sir. What's the lowest caliber weapon we have? Uh, I don't want to give you that because it's good. You know what? Just, just take that. There you go. Unbelievable. Anybody else got something lethal? No, I guess not. Alright. Bloody hell, you... That was ridiculous. The hell do you have a grenade launcher for? I mean, you know, I get it. It's a freaking grenade launcher. But come on. Probably look at her strengths, actually. What does Psychopath do? I've always wondered what it's like to put a bullet between someone's eye. Yeah, we've all thought that. Worryingly often sometimes. Alright, let's go. I'll check this out, Max. Yeah, let's go find the feral. Um now where was the drop site? Haven't had the drop site yet. We kill the Kill the feral, then we go complete the delivery, and then we'll get the dream team together and grab that drop site, which is probably well. The dream team will be uh, Maya and Martin. Is it Martin? No, Marcus. My bad. Zombie hordes, eh? Well, we give no shits when we're in this armored jeep thing. Armoured truck, I believe America's is called them. Is this a truck in America? Right. Now, luckily, having a 45 calibre automatic should help us here. 45 calibre automatic. Crazy. A little bit like uh, Thompson. Yeah, right, buddy. Hello. Yep. Why do I have to lead the way? Oh god, she's a bitch. Okay, I don't really like her. Alright, this is gonna be sucky, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, that was not too bad. Yeah, baby, I know it. Let's go. Well, I guess we did that. I thought we had to cheer Maya up anyway. I guess even though she's sad, she doesn't need a talking to. Right, let's go and check out this delivery. Now, is it worth picking up some more bullets? Possibly. Yeah, you say that, but there really aren't. Uh, uh, that's not a good sound. Yeah, I don't like this lady. She's a bit of a bitch. There's no need to be a bitch. Well, yeah. The trouble with that logic is we have a lot of stuff. Um, more stuff than we need. In fact, apart from building supplies, we are at our maximum of pretty much everything. So, talking of that, um, let's get some firearms training on the go. Cook a big meal. Should have done this before, really. Um, make suppressors. Yeah, let's just try and use as much of this equipment as we can. Alright, cool. 
Now let's go complete the delivery. I don't know what we're meant to be delivering. But I guess we're going to find out. Hawks clan's on it. I hope we're supposed to be delivering something good. Yeah, don't mind me just leaving the door open. It's fine. Alright, now what I like about this thing as well is it seems really armoured, obviously. But it's also fairly nippy. Which makes sense, being a military vehicle. However, I guess we're not going to be too suicidal with it. We don't need to run over everybody. Just most of the time. Like that. Wow, he got some distance. Uh, yeah, maybe we can make this work. Let's go on an adventure, guys. Makes life worth living, god damn it. Um, also, invincible wooden uh, fences make me question reality. More so, ooh, building materials. Don't mind if I do. Pretty much one of the only things that we actually do need. Sick. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. We'll be ready. Right, that'll do. Nice little find. Um, damn, there's a lot of juggernauts about. Actually, if I remember correctly, no, that's fine. We should be able to get through down here. Oh, what's that? Oh, God. Please, Katrina, I believe your name was. Kimberly. Kim, you're now Kim. Uh, please don't trash that car. I know we have two of them. But uh, it would be nice if we could keep two of them. Food, don't need it. Uh, I do not like the way that car is parked. Are you sure you have a license, Kim? Are you sure? Alright, there we go. Crisis averted. Alright, well, it looks like we're going to have trouble. No, this is good. There we go. That was about as painless as it possibly could have been. Yeah, still pretty painless. You know what, let's get back onto the road. There is so many juggernauts about. It is uh, rather interesting just how many there are. Don't really want to fight them, although we can apparently cheese them if we knew. Well, actually, we tried that theory out, didn't we? And it worked really well. Ha, got one of them. Same color and everything. My one's better, though, because it's mine. Good thing we don't have to pay insurance for these cars. Or road tax. Road tax is kind of sucky. Especially as we pay road tax to uh, you know, keep the roads in good working order. You know. What doesn't the council do? Ah, yes. They don't keep the uh, roads in good working order. In fact, the roads are atrocious around here. That's why it's quite refreshing to play this. These roads are so smooth. Even these bumpy ones are smoother than most of our roads. Look at that. Lovely. Should probably complain to the council about it, really. The road outside my house. If I cared enough to do so. Which I certainly do not. So many hordes. Yep. Where's the beacon? The beacon's there. Well, we're certainly not going to get it on our own. Because, uh, yeah, remember how that went? I remember. Wasn't there a guy called Jacob or something? Hey, guys. What are you doing? Uh, what are we delivering? A helping hand with a delivery. Yeah. What were we delivering? Ah. Our friend here would be happy to take you home. Wouldn't she, friend? 
Uh, seems like a harmless way to end a little. Uh, yeah, go on. There you see, you'll be in good hands. Why do I doubt you're helping this guy out of the goodness of your hearts? Yeah. Um. Uh, buddy, you don't have the Black Death, do you? Oh, fucking hell. Whoa, stay, you probably do now. Sweet ride. It is a sweet ride. And, uh, I don't want to worry you, Kim. But this is our ride. So, you know. I bet this thing has plenty of power. Now, buddy, you're not going to go Section 8 on me, are you? Because, although I have technically got people to spare, I don't want to. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Surprise the hell out of me too. So who the hell beat you to death then, if it wasn't Mickey? Well, I suppose for now you can shack up with us. We've got plenty of food, mate. Go ham. Talking of ham, you probably have a lovely ham sandwich. Actually, I doubt we have. Probably have canned ham. You know, that stuff that's mainly lip sawdust and arseholes. With extra jelly. Ugh. Ham's ham, I guess. And I've gone the wrong way. You know, you probably have a nice can of uh, dog food. We've probably got a lot of that. And, mate, you're welcome to it. We also have a lovely selection of fresh vegetables. We need to get some animals on the go. We get some bacon and... Oh, bacon. You know, pig's such a wonderful animal. Pork chops, bacon, sausages, ham. Oh, truly is a gift from Blob. Right. Almost back, matey. You know, cracked ribs uh, is actually quite bad. Any kind of injury in this sort of uh, apocalyptic, zombie-infested fun ground would be really bad because, you know, if you're weak or slow, you die. So, although he worked you over, it's actually much, much worse working you over in this kind of situation. Do you know what's really weird about the dialogue in this game as well, right? They have a lot of the same... I suck at reversing. They have a lot of the same... Um, yeah, that's why we're not on foot. Where are we supposed to be taking him? This way. Uh, where are we meant to be taking you? Oh. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. That's what I get for not looking at the objectives. Oh, well. Well, guys, you're welcome to join us. Yeah, any kind of injury or sickness in this kind of environment, and you're done. It's not so bad these days, like, you know, in our non-apocalyptic uh, times. I mean, some might argue that we are living in apocalyptic times, and... Uh, Maybe, maybe, maybe. Interesting years ahead. It is even years at this point. Who knows? All I know is I'm on a sweet road with a sweet ride. Controlling a bit of a bitch with a busted up man. 
and I'm having a whale of a time. I like the way these fires, as I said before, they just burn forever. Wonder gasoline. Maybe it's zombie fires. Yeah, there's a thing. We used to think of zombie animals, but uh, zombie elements? What would zombie water be like? I guess we should ask these guys. Looks like they've been drinking it. Drinking a lot of zombie water. And the zombie fires are burning. Zombie earth would be like a cursed earth with thick ichor all over it, I guess. Zombie wind would be acrid putrid air that causes the black fever. Ha! Huh. Well, I guess we're through the looking glass on that one. Good talk, team. Good talk. Ooh. We're only building materials here. No. Ooh. This place looks cool. Let's have a little look. Uh, we should probably drop your first, to be fair. I don't want you dying on us. Get off. So, I'm guessing we're going to have to sort these Wilkerson boys out at some point. Because you can't have them running a protection racket like that. It's just not on. Not in my town. And I guess they keep the farm going. But we don't really need the farm. I, su I suppose the locals need the farm. Uh, but I suppose, in a way, they're our competition. Yes. We could expand, take over the farm. And if people can't afford us, maybe not break their legs? Maybe? Or ribs? And just uh, help each other out to survive? Within reason? Because currency has no value? Hey, buddy. Well, this is my stop. Appreciate you looking after me. I feel bad for asking another favor, but don't tell the others what happened to me, okay? Why? They got enough to worry about without this. Well. Oh, what? The hell have you? Oh, my you. What to you? At the other place? It's nothing. I just took a bad fall. Lucky a good Samaritan happened by and helped me back. A bad fool. A bad fall, huh? Well, you better get yourself inside and lie down. Go on, scoot. As for Spoo you, well, I guess the only one. Nice to see not all the decent folks are gone. Hey, we are decent in our um our little uh, clan. You should join us. We have dog food. And fresh vegetables. And canned uh, canned ham. So yeah. You're on the you should be on the winning side. Right, we need to go grab that, but we'll go check out the survey point first. Uh, not really sure if it's worth checking out these survey points, because they just tell us where like valuables are and we don't really care. I mean we have everything. We are set with a capital S. We've made it in this zombie hellhole. One of the Wilkerson goons just dropped off a care package. I felt like he hadn't bathed in a month. Seriously, I think the zombie stink left. Yes. I hope you know what you're doing. I'm really sure being buddy buddy with the Wilkerson is a good idea. I don't even worry about it. The only people we're buddy buddy with are the people that live in our walls. So, yeah, don't you worry about that. I may look like I'm all sunshine and smiles, but believe me, my dear, nothing is further than the truth. Um, ah, there we go. Hi, hey guys. Don't mind me. Just uh, having a little look up on your roof here. Oh, well, you know, windows can't be easily replaced anymore. Okay. Well... I guess it's not the roof we need to go in. Um, is that 
Okay, I thought that was a feral. I guess not. Hey guys! Free lunch coming down. Whoa! That was pretty badass, not gonna lie. Hey pal. Can you go down and die, please? Thank you. Fighting level 2. Holy shit. Uh, we need to talk about this, Kim. You need a lot of work. Please do not climb. Well, haha. I'm a rebel. Stick it to the man. Now, oh, I see. We've got to get up onto the head. So we have a house. Oh my god. Okay, we have a Jurassic Park car. Yeah, yes. Yes, we will be back for that. Okay, there's lots of zombies. Uh, which we kind of imagined there would be. Public shit house. Some of these uh, question marks are quite hard to see. Uh, you sound really depressed when you say that, uh, Kim. You're right, girl. You sure? You got a lot of pent up aggression. That's why I gave you the automatic. Okay, let's get out of here. We need to make a note that there is that Jurassic Park car there. Because we want that bad boy. But we are not sacrificing one of these luscious machines for it. And we've popped the radiator. That's fine. That's fine. We have a tools expert, so... No harm. Uh, we just have to make... Right, we do need that. Yeah, let's go back to base. We'll go grab someone, and then we'll head over to that supply cache, then we'll call it a day. That's if we can get there before the supply cache uh, disappears. I'm not sure how long they stay. A couple of days, I would have thought, at least. Now, I don't really care about all the food and stuff that's going to be in there. I just want a nice fancy weapon. Ah, last time we got uh, some good ammo as well, so I guess they are worth it. Now, I was going to take... You know what? No, I, I will take him. I will take him. I was going to take um, Marcus and Maya. Because they are the dream team. The unsung heroes. What is that? Ah, oh, it's just red. I thought I had like a funky, cool colour scheme. But then we can only really have four vehicles. I, well, okay. We can only have four vehicles uh, in circulation in like service spaces I suppose but we could have as many as we want because vehicles don't disappear and they stay where you park them so yeah I guess we could collect some uh-huh okay we'll see what spooked the poor guy Right, let's go park this bass up. I don't know if we can use a handbrake. I guess we do have lots of parking space here. We have a car for every occasion. Uh, what do we actually have in the back of this thing? Nothing. Oh. Alright. News to me. Um What's up? You know what, buddy? No. I want someone that's experienced. Uh I'm looking for Maya Ed will do. What about Marcus? Katrina is alright, I suppose. Ah, John Temple. You know what? Let's do this. You can come with me. What we like inventory wise. Uh, not bad, I suppose. Alright, come on, buddy. We have a resource drop to go grab. Now, we did leave him with some weapons, didn't we? Might be worth looking at that. Where's John? John Temple. You know, I have a. 
Oh no, you got the shotgun and the wrench. Excellent. Buddy, you are good to go. Uh, can we actually repair this one? You know what, we don't even need to. We just take this. Come on, mate. In you get. We let the Sandman take care of our vehicles. Because that way it doesn't cost us resources. Not that we're hard up. You know. But you don't stockpile things by uh, frivolously wasting them away. New guns in the farmhouse supply locker. Alright. Oh, we didn't check out Nervous Survivor. Okay. Uh, we're almost out of time though, sadly, so we'll do that in the next video. Which I'm probably going to record straight away. Because that's the great thing about being on holiday all this time. I'm going to have weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of videos. You know what's really funny, guys? I have so much time now um, that I don't have to go to work, to work at the moment. And I'm like, I can play all these great video games that I have been hoarding and saving for time off. And the only two games I want to play right now is um, State of Decay and uh, Prey. If I'm uh, not recording... I just, I don't know. I just don't get the same enjoyment out of playing games anymore. It's kind of strange. I guess it's sharing the experience. I, I don't really know. I think what it is as well is because uh, I can kind of justify it a bit more to my adult brain if I'm sitting here playing uh, this for like five hours. Because, uh... Hello. Hello. Because technically, although I am sitting here playing video games, it is being productive. It's being productive towards the channel. So I can rationalise it to my adult brain. There we go. Right. Uh, whoops. I thought we popped the rad then. Oh, multi kill. That was satisfying. And we got a bloater as well. We re ah, and a feral. Fuck. Okay, this is getting dangerous. These are so dangerous to do. Ah, uh, the f feral is problematic, but the bloater is worse. I guess we could just get all these guys to come over here. Like so. And then we can drive down here. God damn it. Okay, that'll do, that'll do. We've popped the radiator. Fucking bloater. Oh, Jesus. Right. Oh, shit. Uh, buddy, little help. Little help. Dude, thank you. You fucking piece of shit. Oh man, this is getting worse before it's going to get better, isn't it? Ouch. My face. Yes, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Kind of. She's not attacking the right guy. Sorry, pow. Ugh. God, these are so dangerous. Especially with these noob characters. I did think that bloater was going to be worse than it was. We've got a screamer incoming. Dude, where are you? What are you doing? Ah, shit, mate. No, 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 no. What? You fucking cowardly sack of shit. I am gonna have your ass something fierce when we get back. Um, hundred round magazine. Whoa. Uh. Cool. Well, I think when we kind of activate the cache, I think when we activate the cache, it shuts up. I'll run this home. Yes, you will. I'm already loaded down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. You runaway boy. You absolute bitch. I'm going to have your ass. You know what? If you get. Traps on the way home. 
I ain't gonna mad. I ain't even gonna be mad. And that is a serious twitch leg going on right there. That is. That is beautiful in its own little way. You know? Certainly beautiful in its own little way. Right, let's get this shit home. See, we can't, yeah, we can't break this stuff down. Not sure why. Ah, well, Kim, you did good. You really did. Do you know who we owe a thank you to? We owe a thank you to ourselves for getting the stones to come out here and get it. Um, problem is, we're going to waste this. No, we're not. We're not. We're still okay for the stockpile, I guess. See, what I'd like to do is break one case of this stuff down. I don't know why we can't. Yeah, I am. I am. I am. But that's going to be in the next video. Fuel storage. Everything is maxed out. Like, I don't remember this game being this easy. In all fairness, though, it was kind. Of, we kind of had three games going at once. Uh, I was playing it, Nikki was playing it, and my brother was playing it. So I guess it did get a little bit confused. Looking back, it is kind of fuzzy. What exactly uh, we accomplished. I know I never finished it, but I know Nikki did. And I think my brother did? I'm not sure. We do. I guess we're just going to drop all the ammo in. Um, yeah, we are a hero. Now, I like this. Experimental support weapon from Cleo. So I guess you only get the good weapons from Cleo, like the really good ones. I mean, a hundred round drum magazine. That's fucking sick. And it's 556 as well. So it's got plenty of stopping power. Which is nice. But Kim, you've done really well today. You give yourself a pat on the back. However, you need to rest now. You need to rest. You know, this is going to be the first time, I think, since I've started recording this LP. Yeah, 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 I'm on it. That's actually a nice weapon. It's a little bit heavier. Um, <clears throat> Alright, you can keep that. Yeah, this is going to be the first time since I've started recording this video, uh, this series, that I've done another episode of this back-to-back. -back, so, hmm. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. When we come back, we have... The Zed Hunt Bloater. Oh, I don't like bloaters. We have the Nervous Survivor. And... We did have something else. Uh, I guess not. Oh well. Right, anyway guys, thanks for watching and until next time.